Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Massachusetts State Representative Trom Nguyen of the 18th Essex District. Truly, I'm so grateful for the Boston Club folks for organizing this event and for all of you for being here. As someone who took this seat in 2018 from an anti-choice representative, you heard that right? This is a man who wanted to ban abortion in our state. He's now the chair of the Republican Party. And this is why we're here today, because we cannot continue to elect these people who want to take control of our bodies. And this is why you're here. I'm so glad that you're here. I unapologetically ran on a pro-choice platform when I ran. And it was so heartening for me to see that almost 70% of the people when you poll them support women having the rights to our own bodies. And why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we have equal rights? But they keep coming after us and we can't let them. After Trump got elected, our state legislature, we saw the writings on the wall and I was so proud to join with my colleagues to vote for the Access Act in 2017. Um, well, this was before I came in, but I was so happy to support them in 2017 to codify access to abortion care into our law. And then after I joined the legislature, we also passed the Roe Act, the Roe Amendment, which further expanded our rights to choose. And the Roe Amendment makes it very clear that the decision to continue or terminate a pregnancy must remain between a pregnant person and their medical professional. And that's how it should be. Pregnancy is an extremely personal decision, and that decision shouldn't be made by politicians, myself included. That is why we support choice. It should just be for the people. And it, and it shouldn't be by judges either. And certainly, it should not be by people like Jim Lyons and those who are like him who want to take this right away from us. So what can we do? What can we continue to do? Fortunately, Massachusetts is not one of those states that are looking to take away rights from people. We have codified the right to abortion care into our law. We even overrode the governor when he tried to veto the Roe Act. But we can't be complacent. It's time for action. We need to stand up to make our voices heard. Here in Massachusetts, we can do so much more to help pregnant people. I definitely want to talk about healthcare deserts out there in our state where people live many miles away from clinics that offer reproductive care. And that's why we currently have a bill in the legislature that's been filed by my colleague, Representative Vinci Sabadosa, who is a bill to provide for Um, so that's why my, represent, uh, my colleague, Representative Lindsay Sabadusa, introduced a bill to require that public universities provide medical abortion. Medical this would give students the right to get abortion care from their college health clinic. Yes. That's right. Yes, please. We do need your support for this. Another thing that we can do to help pregnant people come to our state seeking abortion is we need to remain a leader when it comes to people coming from other states yes. who will eventually have to come to our state to get the health care that they need. So my colleagues and I need your support so we can put the infrastructure in place so that we're ready for them and we can be there to help them. Yes. And as you can see from my shirt, vote. That is your secret weapon. That's what you need to do. You have to vote up and down the ballot to make sure we're getting in pro-choice candidates who are not only fighting against this, but proactively fighting to keep that right here in Massachusetts and help us remain a leader. And it's not just Massachusetts. You need to be out there as well to make sure that we don't lose the Senate, so that we don't lose the House. Because guess what? When that happens, we could lose the right to abortion nationwide. Then what will happen to our young kids here, our young girls? So many of them are here today. I'm so glad to see you because you are our future. We need to fight this fight for you. And thank you so much. So 
we need to continue to speak up. We need to vote. We will fight with every ounce of our energy that we have. That's truly the only choice that we have to prevent the unthinkable. Thank you so much for having me here, and thank you so much for being in this fight with me.